Hey everyone, in this tutorial I'll show you how to animate a flying airplane on a map in the Johnny Harris or Vox documentary style. It's a super simple process, and by the end, you'll get a smooth cinematic animation that looks amazing in any explainer or travel video. Before we start, let me quickly mention my Vox style animation pack. It includes over 50 ready-made scenes, transitions, map templates, timelines, and text animations. It's available for just $17 on my Gumroad, and you get free lifetime updates. The link is in the description below. All right, let's get started. First, create a new composition I'm using Full HD, but you can choose any format you need. Next, drag your map image into the comp. I downloaded mine from RawPixel, it's free and high quality. Adjust the map's position and scale to fit your scene. Now, let's add some clouds to give the map more atmosphere and depth. I'm using stock cloud images, just place them above the map, resize them, and arrange them at different scales. This will make your scene feel layered and more cinematic. Next, create a camera layer and enable 3D for all layers, the map, clouds, and camera. Now you can adjust their Z positions to add perspective. Then, create a null object. This will control our camera movement. Turn on 3D for it as well and parent the camera to the null. Let's make a smooth zoom in animation. Move the timeline to around two seconds and set a keyframe for the null's position. Then go back to the start and pull the camera back along the z-axis. You'll get a nice parallax effect. The map and clouds move at different speeds, creating depth. Now let's animate the clouds moving apart to reveal the map. At the first frame, set keyframes for their positions. At around two seconds, move each cloud slightly outward left and right. This gives a cinematic reveal, as if the map is opening up. Time to bring in the airplane. Place it above all layers and add a drop shadow or a slight blur underneath so it doesn't look flat. Animate its appearance using scale from 0% to 20%. Then smooth the motion using easing or the speed graph. This gives a cinematic reveal, as if the map is opening up. Now let's move the camera to create a travel effect. Select the null object again and set a keyframe for its position. Then, after a few seconds, move it along the x-axis, for example, from the UK to France. This will make it look like the plane is flying across the map.
animate the plane disappearing, just like it appeared using scale and smooth easing. This makes the animation feel complete and polished. To finish, add the effects Noise and Posterize Time. Noise gives your scene a bit of film grain, and Posterize Time adds that vintage, slightly